Okay, y'all, I just got done on my hour-long walk. It's very hot in Georgia, so we're going to be sweating through that. That's okay, exercising for the win. I wanted to share this message today. It's going to be about finding your soul tribe members and listening to your intuition and pushing through the fear, okay, because your higher self knows what's best for you. So a couple of years ago, I was really struggling with my social anxiety and my confidence and self-esteem, my self-concepts, and... I was really trying to push myself outside of my comfort zones of like, oh, okay, I'm done with this identity of being socially anxious and not able to go places myself. Like I, I want to be able to date myself, if you will, and take myself places that I want to go because not everybody is interested in the same things that I am. And I want to be able to find people who are interested and they're, they're not just going to show up my doorstep. Like I got to go actively seek them out. <laughs> and so I was looking around and I found a trap yoga class and I love trap music. And I was like trap and yoga. Yes. For the win. And so I was like, that's scary. What if I look dumb? What if I feel uncomfortable? What if people are staring at me? You know, just like all this stuff self-limiting beliefs is it's the fear trying to keep us in our comfortability zone and I said no I said I'm gonna go and we're gonna have a great time and I am I am identifying as somebody who is very confident and I'm gonna carry myself that way so I went to the class it was the most fun thing one of the best things I have ever experienced it was also incredibly healing body mind and spirit and also for my confidence and self-esteem because I was like oh all of that fear and anxiety that I was experiencing like that is just stuff I was building up in my head and I had a great time when I went there now here's the rest of the story so I talked to the instructor and she was amazing and she said oh what do you do for work and I told her that I'm an Akashic record reader at that time <laughs> I still do that but I do other things now too but I said I'm a Akashic record reader and she said oh my gosh I've always wanted to have them read can you read mine and I said yeah for sure I would love to do that and she said do you do it in person and I was like no I just do it remotely and she said oh will you make an exception and I said you know what your vibes are awesome absolutely so she came over to my place we did it beautiful beautiful experience okay now here's where we take a turn so <laughs> I was on TikTok one day and I came across a yoga instructor and she had messaged me on TikTok and I was like talking to her and we were like really vibing and hitting it off and I was like, oh, uh, are you near Atlanta? And she said, yeah. And I was like, let's meet up. Like, let's do it. And this is a time still when I was trying to like push outside my comfort zone and she agreed and we hit it off. We have been friends for years now, and I love her so much. She's one of the most nearest and dearest people to my heart. If you're seeing this, Maisie, you're an incredible star beam. I'm going to tag you in this video. But her and I were on a phone conversation just a minute ago while I was on my walk, and she was like, I don't think I've ever told you how I got your information. And I said, oh, please tell me. I would love to hear it. And I don't know why we never talked about it before. But she told me that she had met this yoga instructor. And it was the same yoga instructor, but we live in different cities. That yoga instructor had come to my city specifically for that yoga trap event, but she knew her from Atlanta. <laughs> and she said that I was on her Instagram stories and she had posted a testimonial, like a video testimonial of my Akashic record reading with her. And she was like, wow, this person seems really cool. Let me go check them out. And then she messaged me and that's how we met. And I was like, oh my gosh, like how synchronistic is that? And if I hadn't have said yes to my intuition and pushed through that fear, we never would have met. And she is one of my most favorite people in the whole entire universe, okay? <laughs> and I wanted to share that because even her and I were talking about sometimes it's intuition talking and sometimes it's fear and sometimes the intuition is like really hard to hear if the fear is really strong, but you've got to like really listen to that compass within yourself that's saying like hey you should go anyway like you should go do this push yourself outside the comfort zone even though it's scary and I'm just so glad that I did that <laughs> because it led to one of the most amazing friendships and so I wanted to share that in case it gives you like a boost of confidence or our self-assuredness um, and a reminder to listen to your intuition because it does lead to really amazing things.